All right, so I'm back out here this morning. This stuff's had all week to sit here and dry out some. Had a little bit of rain yesterday. Everything's nice and wet this morning, so I am going to uh, start burning. First, I got to get the excavator good in there and put some fuel in it and uh, get everything I need to start the fire back here. It's drying out, but it is still muddy right here. Have to walk the excavator up here. I won't want to attempt to drive the truck and trailer with a piece of pipe through all that. But uh, yeah, getting everything fueled up this morning and uh, getting my straw and go down there and get a fire started. Everything's nice and muddy. That water it just splatters all over you when you're tracking and digging into it. Let me get this fueled up and we'll go uh, strike a match. Alright, let's see how well this stuff burns. I'm going to go around here and I'm going to get some of that dry hardwood uh, branches over there. They tend to be a little bit more dry this time of year versus the pine. And see if I can't uh, get that nice hot spot going. Looks like the wind's blowing that way, which is good because there's a subdivision back that way. And I didn't want to smoke them out first thing this morning. Let's see what I can do here. So the fire started pretty good. Stuff's uh, fairly dry considering it is going in spring and everything's pretty sappy. I'm gonna let that catch up for a minute. What I'm doing is taking some of the smaller stuff and separating it out, putting it beside the pile. This is all the stuff that I pushed up with the bulldozer, so it's got a little bit of dirt in it. And uh, just trying to separate it out get it nice and clean so that it burns faster and better. You kind of push it with the dozer, it tends to, to collect a little bit of dirt and stuff. But it's also a lot easier to just sit right here with the excavator and sort everything versus tracking all over, grabbing the piles and bringing them back. I'll sit that over there. That's got a lot of stumps and roots in it. I get a, a real nice hot spot there burning it should burn this up really quickly there's just a lot of it though plus I got to clear another acre over there Tightly packed limbs and everything, it just it can't get the air to it to 
burn to take a few logs like that. Kind of almost like a teepee. It doesn't have to be like that. I mean, you can kind of crisscross it. Just do whatever, but it's got to, uh, it's got to have some voids in the pile to burn. Burn well, that is. So I'm take that and lay that up there like so. Now it's creating a kind of a funnel right there. Take this big pine log spin it around. Sit it right there at the top. There we go. Now I can grab some of the smaller stuff. Throw that in there as well. Shake it out a little bit, clean it up a little bit. digging a hole right here either because this is the house lot but I'm gonna probably just leave this stuff I'll be back out here several more times and uh, we're just doing little phases at the time that way these ashes will cool down and, and I can take them somewhere else spread them out and burn them or uh, bury them and do whatever through this bottom stuff and then break it over. 
cooking right along. So I'm gonna go on a little bit of a rant because everybody says, why don't I chip this stuff up? Sell it for mulch. Make a killing, I'm gonna make a killing. Well, this is trash. I mean, how are you, you, if you chip that up, do you know how good a mulch that would make right there? That would look like utter crap if you run that through a chipper and try to mulch it up. First of all, trying to run that through a chipper would be a utter nightmare. And then it would look like dirt once it did come out. And that's exactly what somebody wants to do is pay $25 a yard for some crap that looks like it come out of the landfill. I mean, that's literally what it would look like right here. So anybody that would like to pay me $25 a uh, scoop for that, come, come and get it. I'll load you up. As far as cutting the wood out, there might have been a trailer load of logs in this. And as you can tell, I can't even get back here with a truck and trailer to get them out. So yeah, definitely not feasible. Be like spending 10 grand to make a thousand. So uh, yeah, that's why it's going into the fire pile. But the bright side is I'll have all this burn up in probably a half a day. And eh, maybe a little bit longer. There's still a lot of stuff over there.
So now that that's burning really good, all that's left is just this stuff right here at the end. Uh, I'm gonna let that burn down a little bit. I'm gonna come over here and actually start clearing for the septic field. I'm gonna come in right there where the machine is, come down and around. There was a red flag somewhere. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Right there. I'm gonna um, clear back and down, back to that flag and then up and uh, all the way to this one. So, uh, fair amount of stuff to come out. Go ahead and start ripping it out.
Well, since that's burning down good, I'm going to take the dozer and push some of these piles over this way. That way I'm not working under the ashes as I'm trying to feed the fire. If I get everything like right here, I can sit behind the pile and throw it up on there and not have to worry about, well, you know what. Let's push a little less over here.
to have just knocked this stuff down last week. You can just hear it. Got a nice hole right there. It's sucking that air in there and burning that. So check that out. I have already completely burnt all the one acre of clearing debris. And probably, it's probably almost a half acre that I've cleared today. Maybe not quite. I think this is a little bit more than an acre. So I've probably got an acre and a half of this stuff that I am going to have pretty much burnt today. I'm going on about hour number eight of starting the fire. It's been a pretty productive day here. Ooh, that's hot. thunderstorms coming later so I'm gonna probably hang out for a while back this on up real good and try to get everything burnt up at least everything will be nice and wet it's safe to leave it for tonight The dozer's a lot farther away than it looks. So I managed to get everything on the fire pile today. Brought out about an acre and a half cleared now and uh, all in the fire pile. Got about 45 more minutes for today. We've got some storms coming. I'm going to take the dozer while it's still relatively dry and go ahead and root rake down there um, it'll just make life easier versus when it's wet tomorrow so that way I just stacked everything up I can stay here and kind of keep an eye on that that'll burn down pretty quickly and uh, then I can go home well that's a wrap for today got it all raked 
pushed up there to the fire it's burning nicely so that burned down tonight come back tomorrow and take the rake off and blade over all this and level it out got a lot done today